Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Title Town, some call it, a moniker that many claim, but this city lives thanks to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Today, two teams collide in an old-fashioned SEC showdown. As we'll see, the South Carolina Gamecocks taking on the sixth-ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Gamecocks will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So the Alabama Crimson Tide offense will take the field for the first possession of this game. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you'd build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays in big games. Watch for him on third down in the red zone. He has a chance to leave an impact in this game. Well, it's so nice to have such a big body that when he's covered, he's open, right? Like, it doesn't matter because he's got great hands and that big frame you can really utilize. One play in this drive and already out to the 41. It's first down. To the ground. He's got it again. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll run play action. Got him downfield. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Really nice play getting that first down. And listen, I know when a lot of people think about the Crimson Tide recently, they think about the success they've had at the quarterback position. A big reason why, though, those guys have been playing so well they're throwing the NFL talent all over the field. And this dude right here, he could be the next first-round pick at the wide receiver position from Ben. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. And make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Power football with the run. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. You've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game. They're in a really nice rhythm. They've got real good balance going on right now, and they've got the defense on their heels. Alabama with a first and ten here. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Catch in the middle. It's Prentice. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. We've got to give the old line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Alabama comes to the line with a first end goal. Just going to keep it after the snap. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Bama! And that's why this offense is so hard to stop, guys. This quarterback in Hershey throwing it and running it. With his speed, he can make people look silly. And you saw it right there on the opening drive of the game. What a beautiful touchdown run. Getting set for the point after. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. He marched 78 yards down the field and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. 
The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. Coming out with it, it's McDowell. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So the South Carolina Gamecocks offense will get the ball for the first time. One matchup to watch in this one is how well do the backers tackle in space, David? Yeah, and you've got to have great linebackers to get this guy on the ground. And they've got it. So it's going to be an interesting matchup. A lot of head-to-head -head battles, linebacker versus running back. Yeah, tackling him in space, but also covering him out of the backfield. These two dudes are going to be shadowing each other all game long. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. The Gamecocks are in the hurry up. To the air, it's Sellers. Throws to the wideout. Got his man! And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Wants to throw on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. And that's why this guy's a complete running back. He's good between the tackles. He can pass block, but he can also run routes. And we're not just talking about screens or swing routes. This guy gets vertical down the field, and he can run the route tree. He's looking to throw it. The short hands, it's Harbor. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Yeah, and when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. This offense trying to quiet the crowd on first and goal, and they are not cooperating. They'll try to get it in with the run. Gets it inside the 10, picks up a yard. They'll mark it at the 9. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. Looking for a path to the end zone to the right. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And the offense, they're just trying to be physical. They're trying to run this ball in down close to the goal line. The defense, though, they're having none of it. Third and goal coming up here. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. And it's incomplete as he was trying to finish the drive with the score. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive.
So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The tied offense rolls onto the field. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I gotta take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I gotta be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. Handoff from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that seemed a little off in the start, didn't it? That was a big-time play, and it was off from the start because of the play he made. And I don't think it would have mattered who was playing running back. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They're trying to get to him. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. QBs and receivers on third down, everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure. The quarterback gets hit just now on the same page with his target. Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Wants to return it. Ripping through the defense. Can they catch him? He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, South Carolina. The return man takes it to the end zone himself, and now he'll give his team the lead. And your defense made a big stop. You think you're getting the offense, the football back, but how about special teams coming through in a big way to take the lead for you? Get some excitement, get some juice back on your side. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point gives him a three-point lead at 10 to 7. Man, you just can't put a price on having a guy like that back there to return punts, and he turned that one into a touchdown. The kickoff team is out there after that last punt return for a touchdown. Let's see if we get another big special teams play. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes that Alabama offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Here on second down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. They'll give it to the back. The Tide will get the first down. A cornerstone of the Alabama program really throughout history has been be physical, establish a running game. Yeah, great running backs. I mean, not only are you recruiting great players in the offensive line and skill and all over the place, but... So many great backs that you can name off the top of your head that played at Alabama, that ran it with an edge, that ran it physical, that always represented that style. And you can see Alabama in their home. It's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. As a defender, you love the big hits. And you know what the cherry on the Sunday is? When you get the big hit and force the fumble. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, David. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points.
back to throw. It's Sellers. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. And it is hardly a big surprise that this Alabama defense is hitting hard and making their presence felt in the backfield. Yeah, it's what they built their brand on. They built it on physicality and stopping the run. And, and you've seen over the last several years, too. After they do that, they come after your quarterback, and they try to get that sucker on the ground. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Pocket starts to collapse. Wide open. He makes the catch. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. And the Gamecocks moving quickly to the line. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Running behind those pads, he gets a couple before he stopped at the 18. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Defense there to stop him after a pickup of two down to the 15. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. Looking downfield, it's Sellers setting up the screen. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. Man, this defense is so athletic in their front seven. They're able to fight off the blocks on that third down screenplay, make the tackle, now setting up fourth down. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The tied offense rolls onto the field. And the fumble on that last drive could have been much worse, David. They, they bailed him out. He'll off one deep down the left side. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. And there's an example of what happens when the quarterback doesn't have a chance to set his feet. The pressure just forced him to have to work off schedule a little bit. And I think because of that, wasn't able to be as accurate as he wanted to be. That last incompletion leaves them with second and 10 from the 21. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. And I love these offensive coaches going right back to your guy. I believe in you just because you fumbled doesn't mean I'm not going to give you the football. Yeah, he's repaying the favor right now to this coaching staff as well. And doesn't it just seem like he's running with a little bit more juice? He looks like he's ticked off. They'll ride the hot hand. Runs through the tackle. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Scanning the field, it's Milrow. Unloads to the wideout. 
It's caught downfield. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. High flying pass catchers and the Crimson Tide. That combination wasn't right at the top of your mind, say, 30 years ago. No, it used to be run, run, more run. And you've seen over the years, they've opened it up, the playbook, and they've brought in dudes. They've had some guys that can fly. They've had receivers winning Heisman trophies. Like, so many game breakers on the outside that make big plays in this offense. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Just feeds the running back. Snowed under by the defense. And I love this because you got second and really, really long. And what's the idea of the offensive coordinator? Get third and manageable. Nice job getting the run, not only a positive run. Shoot, you almost got the first down. Now you're set up for good success on third down. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. To the ground to try to move the chains. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Third and two, trying to be physical, trying to win the battle up front. Almost there, Palmer, just short, fourth and inches. Yeah, and he was so disappointed he didn't pick up that first. He's looking over to the sidelines right now, asking for the ball again here on fourth. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. And this one splits the uprights. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. He'll bring it out. It's McDowell. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. The Gamecocks in the hurry up. Looking for a man, it's Sellers. Grabs it in the middle. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield and he moves the sticks. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Looking to move it through the air. Finds a tight end. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. you got to get him involved. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. One back in the backfield, he gets to carry. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Lots of time left, and we are ready to get back to it and open the second period. And the Gamecocks have their offense in high gear. They're getting this guy lathered up. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight.
from the gun. They'll try the middle. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. The Gamecocks with the first and 10. Wide receiver shows motion. On the run, it's Sanders. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And the Gamecocks racing to the line in the hurry-up. Just when they're looking run, now up top. Fires in the traffic, picked off. Trying to take it back. The 30. And a big return here as they finally get him down inside the 20. And this ball looks like it just got away from the quarterback. I think he made the right decision. He was going to the receiver that seemed open, but just not very accurate on the throw, and that leads to the interception. Here comes that Alabama offense. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The gift to the back. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. They'd love to make this short field payoff with a touchdown instead of settling for three, but it is third and goal. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Second quarter might not be gamble time, but inside the three, Palmer, I've got the green light. I'm going for this. I am, too. And you're essentially running a two-point play here, right? You've got a play you practice all week long. That's the play you dial up right here. Instead of opting for the chip shot field goal attempt and tying the game, these guys... And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Alabama! And how about this offense? A big situation on fourth and goal, and you trust your running back. You trust your offensive line. You trust the physicality of this unit, and they reward that trust, and they punch it in for six. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's McDowell. 
rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Shows him the stiff arm. Just a pickup of a couple out to the 15-yard line. Well, oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. The Gamecocks want to pick up the tempo. Going to the ground. Smashes through. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. To the air. It's Sellers. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one. And the tackle is finally made. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go to the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. And the Gamecocks will snap it on first and ten. From the shotgun, the inside give. He locked up and held on to bring him down. Defense is about firing off hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Motion from the offense. Looking to pass on second down. Using the quick game. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Harbor. Putting together a real scoring thread here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Off the play fake on first down to throw. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. Looking for a man. It's Sellers. He's right on target. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. And guys, they've come through on the first two third down tries. This one might be a little tougher. Makes the grab. It's Sanders. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. And he missed it. No good. And it is still a four-point deficit. The tie. 
Allied offense rolls onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll toss it to the left. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Gets it out fast. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. The last time they punted, it went back for six. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, fires a ball, and now it's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. -making. This offense is back on the field. From the gun, the give, looking for room. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Touchdown time! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's McDowell. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. To the ground with the back. Maybe picked up a couple as he gets it to the 14. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. The Gamecocks come to the line in the hurry up. The give out of the gun. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Throws to the wideout. 
Got his man to the left. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight it, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. Grabbed in the middle, it's Simon. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Here comes the hurry up. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Right down the middle. Got his man downfield. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. And the Gamecocks have this offense rolling. To the air, it's Sellers. Finds his man down the middle. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already, heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody get stats for him. The Gamecocks will line it up on first and 10. He wants to throw. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete. And they'll get him down inside the five of this offense powering toward a score. Well, we knew coming into this one, the tight end was a big part of this offense. And you've seen it early in this game. They've moved him around. They've thrown it to him in a lot of different ways. Defense is going to have to make some adjustments trying to stop this guy. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Grab near the marker. It's Brown. And he will score! Touchdown, Gamecocks! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. The AT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes that Alabama offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. It's complete. A huge pickup. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. 
Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, Dave. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide, really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart. If you're going to be aggressive with your decision making. Yeah, and that's a timing route. You throw those out routes to your receivers, and, and he gets out of his break, and he gets his head around, and ideally you want him to get his head around right in time to catch that football, and you could just tell he didn't get comfortable, didn't get his hands around, his head around in the right time, and he just gets a drop. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. I think the quarterback's got to do a better job with his eyes, guys. He's already been picked off twice in this game, and that one got swatted away. He's telegraphing where he's throwing the football, and it's making life really hard on him. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Coming after him. Still looking. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And the Gamecocks line up to punt it away. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Tuscaloosa. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that said, let's send it back to the guys at Bryant-Denny Stadium. Alabama ready to put a boot to it to start the second half. Bringing it back. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments. But they've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you're this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you, just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. Trying to get behind the defense. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he's running in the open. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Gamecocks. 
Man, you want to make big plays in the passing game. And to do that, you've got to be able to read the defense, see what they're doing to make sure you don't put the ball in harm's way. You could see he drops back, got really good comfort level with what he's seeing. He knows he's going to fit that post over the linebackers in between the safety. Ball is on the money, and they're rewarded with a touchdown. They're going to go ahead and go for two here and try to make it a field goal game. Dropping back, it's Sellers. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they trim more off of that lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He's got great speed. This guy is so dangerous. The excellent vision to find a lane and get it out and set up the offense with good field position. The give from the gun. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's long. The expressway is wide open. Touchdown, Bama! And they take it in for six more points. This offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march it down the field, and score. There is no end in sight for these guys. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming on a touchdown pass from 52 yards out. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, Football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Back to pass. It's Sellers. Get it out on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Well, this offense will screen you in a variety of ways. They'll throw receiver screens, tight end screens. The running back screen also a big part of what they like to do, like you just saw that. The Gamecocks will hustle to the line. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Got it in stride inside the 20. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. 
And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and ten in the red zone. He leaves it with his back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Leaves it with the back. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer. I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all of that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score the touchdown, South Carolina. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They'll leave it with him. Just gets it to the 28, pickup of one. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Fast motion from the offense. Back to pass, it's Milrow. Finds his big tight end. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground covered. Pick up the first. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. Catch in the middle, it's Prentice. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You gotta wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. The Crimson Tide comes to the line with the first and 10. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Maybe that stop is a good sign for this defense. Maybe the defense is starting to figure it out. Obviously, offense has been running the football with so much success. Something has to change. That was a good start. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Running back goes in motion. On second down, looking to throw. A strike downfield. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. That's a really nice job plucking that pass. I don't know if another school has done as good a job as Alabama in recent years as bringing in top-level talent at the wide receiver position. When you think of guys like Julio Jones, Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy, Devontae Smith, this guy, he looks like he could be on the field with all those guys, too. He's got speed. He's got the ability to pluck the football out of the air. What a big-time weapon. How nice is it to play quarterback with this guy? Really 
good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example thereof. From the gun, running back gets to give. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. They've got to get the football to the 32 to pick up the first down. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He's got an open man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they're going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. They'll try the run. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. The Tide trying to pay off this red zone trip. They're testing the right side here. Fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle back. Let's it fly deep downfield. And he's got it! Touchdown, Alabama! Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We got to figure something out. We got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire. You might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody. Live with the results because everything else ain't working anyways. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops follow and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Looking for room, it's Sanders. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes... You're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Wide out in motion. From the gun, the running back has it. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. And the Gamecocks want to move quickly. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Quickly complete. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. 
Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. The Gamecocks are marching down the field. Give to the running back. Keeps the legs moving. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And if I'm the running back, I'm going to like, listen, O-line, can you give me something? Can you give me some space to try to make somebody miss and not have another guy right next to me? I I'm giving the offensive line an earful. I need some holes, need some space up front. they got to do a better job. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short gain. There it is, his second TFL and the foundation of defense at Alabama. Get the pressure up front. No doubt. They're, they're coming. They're going to stop the run. They're going to be physical. That's how they're built. And guess what? You know this. So you're kind of wasting plays when you try to run the football too much. I go after the secondary. I'm trying to make plays in the passing game because right now you're just banging your head up against the wall. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. And the Gamecocks will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Bernard. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Here comes that Alabama offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. He lost one down the sideline. Grabs it inside the 10. Run out of bounds after the long game, but they've got it now first and goal. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. On first and goal, let's see if Alabama can get it in the end zone. To the air, it's Milrow. Makes the grab. He gets it in. Touchdown tie. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. to attempt to try. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. On second down, they'll take to the air. 
And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Uh, missed opportunity on offense. QB and receiver just not on the same page there. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. They go to the draw. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. The Gamecocks will punt it away on fourth down. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The tied offense rolls onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. The inside handoff. Still on his feet at the 45. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. We'll see if this dude can keep it rolling. You know, three Alabama running backs have won the dope walker for the best running back in the country. Derrick Henry, Najee Harris, Trent Richardson. Throw in Mark Ingram, who won a Heisman. He might be able to add his name to that illustrious list. And we could still throw people in there, too. Sean Alexander, we could go back even further. Alabama's always had great running backs. And when your name gets mentioned with those guys... And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. The give to the tailback. And you make the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. Pulls it on the bootleg fade. Here he goes breaking the pocket. Get all you can, then get down with the slide. Nice job by the defense getting after the QB. He's trying to scramble around. He's trying to go get that first with his legs, but he's not able to do it because the speed on defense. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. After making one field goal, he'll need a little distance on. This one a 40-yard try coming. He got it. And now the lead is extended a little far. just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running on the run from inside his own five he was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20 and the South Carolina offense is back on the field last time David it was one two three kick the last drive that three and out sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out i just think david too predictable that last drive they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels and the gamecocks headed quickly to the line Throw. 
got his man quickly. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. Pressure coming. And to get rid of it quickly. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Shakes off the tackler. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. The Gamecocks are moving quickly down the field. Right back to the well. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for space. It's Sanders. Hard running there. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. Trying to wear down this defense, a seventh play of the drive, it's third and one. They'll try to run for it. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got it in stride at the 15. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He needs to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. And the Gamecocks want to crank the tempo. They go to the ground. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Wants to throw. It's Sellers. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. 
Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this team. Here comes that Alabama offense. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. Good spot after that seven yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Looking for a crease, it's Haynes. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. A third down try for the offense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't Olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You got to go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You got to do a better job on the perimeter. It's not going to be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You got to go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked, and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. Unloads to the wide out. Couldn't hang on to that one. This defense has already picked off three passes, almost had the fourth. It'll be second down. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Working that left side now. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. The Gamecocks are in the hurry up. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Now on the move. He's out past the 35. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. The head coach told us he was going to be aggressive. He has a lot of confidence in his running game, and he showed it there on that fourth and two. And I like that mentality. That's the mentality I'm going to develop with my team. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to go get things. short yardage situations, we're going to practice them. We're going to be successful, but we're going to go for it. 
from the gun, running back on the move. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, give on the inside. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. They'll try to run for it. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. And I think this offense ran the football knowing it's in fourth down territory. It, it's fourth and short. It's go time, almost near midfield. To me, this is green light. I got to stay aggressive. I'm losing, but the situation favors me in fourth and short. Getting some heat. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They had this thing in a hammer lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Paul. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for now, first and 10 from the 40. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And you want to dominate the football game like these guys have all day? Dominate the line of scrimmage. You know, turn and hand the ball off to your running back. It's a good recipe. It makes every quarterback better. It makes every OC better. Just turn, hand the football off, especially when you're winning the ball game. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Here comes the offense on first and ten from the 47. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds, cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. The give to the back. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. The Tide with the first and ten. The run from the shotgun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. Trying to run, it's Miller. They make the stop, and the clock strikes zero, and that will do it for this one.